My name is Brandon Sen and this is my haptic arm system intended to satisfy the requirements for Mechanical Engineering 310 at Santa Clara University. My system consists of two articulated arms, each with four degrees of freedom. Uh, they have a base rotate. They have a shoulder joint, which allows extension of the arm, an elbow joint, in addition to a gripping joint, which allows them to grasp uh, an object. The right side arm is intended to act as an input arm. Each of the joints is outfitted with a hobby servo with the um, control circuit removed, allowing me to use the potentiometer built into the hobby servo as an input sensor, um, allowing me to measure position of the arm as it's articulated. Similarly, each joint of the left hand arm is outfitted with a fully functional hobby servo. Um, allowing me to actuate each of the joints and uh, control the position of the arm. When the system is active, the position of the right hand arm is red and the left hand arm is controlled to a matching position, including the articulation of the gripping mechanism. This articulated setup allows us to use the system for simple operations, such as picking and placing the target. In addition to the servos on each of its articulated joints, the output arm is also equipped with a force sensing resistor on its gripper, allowing us to measure the torque exerted as the gripper closes on a target. Here you can see the force I'm manually exerting on the resistor output via serial communication to my laptop display. And again you can see the force measured as I use the servo to actuate the gripper against a deformable plastic target. The torque measured on the output arm is then converted by the microcontroller to a voltage level which is supplied to the motor still encased in the housing of the servo measuring the position on the input arm. This allows us to use the torque measurement on the output arm to apply a force feedback on the input arm. As a simple demonstration, I manually actuate the resistor and you can see the torque exerted on the input arm. Here it's obvious that without the force feedback, the servo gripper is easily able to fully deform the plastic target. However, with force feedback enabled, the operator can easily detect the point at which the object is deforming and cease the actuation of the servo. With this feedback enabled, it allows the operator to use the system for its intended task remote actuation and manipulation of deformable targets with the minimum deformation of those deformable targets. Tactile feedback allows the operator to intuitively actuate the system to a reasonable limit for the materials involved. 